Hello, all Haddock here. All right, so we're going to start today's episode with viewer comments. We got two of them, uh, one from Drinksling and one from David Brom. But we're going to start with David. Uh, he says, look at the text of the research. It shows that uh, it's green, so you need to do it in the green crafting for the tier one. Um, I did. Um, so this is he's referring to, if we go back to yeah, yeah, yeah. The background here and here says it need it's in green, so that's the tier one forge. I did it on the tier one forge. It didn't work. So I went to the tier two forge in an attempt to try to alleviate any possible hurdles that I might have overseen. Um, but uh, yeah, the color in the background on the text and in the in these windows here indicate what level of forge to use so you got green blue and orange for the three tiers the blue ones the void forge um so yeah i, I appreciate that um i did try and that's how i went to this forge because it didn't work in the other one so make the void stuff from drinks link says uh we need to go to the lordic nexus using the eccentric matrix this guy. We need to use a translocation matrix. Can we craft that? So if we go here, here. All right, so we're gonna have to craft up all this stuff to make this thing. And then in return, we're also gonna have to make all of these to make that do that okay so that doesn't look too expensive uh, it says uh we need to go there and talk to the water lord the only one who'll speak to you uh get to apprentice and this will unlock more void research allowing you to make the powder you need for the pure crystals uh so as for the letters in the later versions of the mod you don't need jei well i guess okay so that's this this part here is double-edged my rebuttal to that i understand that the later versions of the mod for lordcraft have been refined uh, i've seen some of the mod authors later tutorials and it does look quite a bit more refined two parts to that one his book has no more description in it now than it does then so that's part of it uh secondly the this mod pack was wrapped with Lordcraft being the gate to all these mods before those refinements were done. It went through beta testing and everything else um, before any of those refinements were done. The refinements came months after the mod pack was released and all these hurdles were still in place. So that's kind of where I'm at with, you know, I don't think this should have been in this mod pack as a gate. I think of anything actual sorcery or Batania or a few other, maybe even embers could have been the gateway. Something that's been around a little bit longer and has been refined. But in either case, uh, I do, do very much so appreciate you guys' comments, both of you. Uh, Drinks Link, we're going to be making the... Uh, <laughs> uh, we'll be going to the Matrix at a later time. So, but today's episode, I wanted cover a couple other things um first of all oh, same to you lady uh we're going to light up the mob farm we're gonna we're gonna turn it off overkill but we're gonna do it i think i don't know if this is gonna shut it off or not Yeah, I did. Or at least slowed it down. So as that spreads, it'll probably help diminish the uh, spawns so the reason is is uh, it's generated a tremendous amount of lag and we already have more than all the stuff we're ever going to need uh, we still have the pink slime spawning and that's not that big a deal <clears throat> all 
I mean, we have like what three, four hundred thousand loot bags. How many do we have? Uh, how about three point five million loot bags? So we're good on loot bags. We're good on just about every mob drop you can think of. Um, let's see here, we only have three thousand eight hundred ninety-six heads, eight hundred sixteen trophies, bat wings, skeleton trophies. It's only seventy-six friendman heads. We should probably turn it back on for that one. Just kidding. Twelve hundred wither skeletons. Fragments, we have 4,000. So yeah, we're doing pretty good as far as, I mean, we're not much in the way of chunks because of uh, we have to be doing that. Yeah, we're doing pretty good on stuff. Witherbone, that one's capped. Do we have two of them then? I think we probably have two of them and the other one's upgraded. Yeah, here it is. Nope, it's not upgraded, but either way, it's still capped out, or the other one's capped out, so. So, yeah, we're gonna let that chill for now if we need to. We just turn it back on anytime. We just pick those torches up and, or those lamps up, and we're back into it. Today, I wanna work on the Batania side. We're gonna come up here. Actually, hold on. Let's come into the front door. So this is where I want the uh, the entrance to be. Do we have? We do. We have elevator blocks in here. All right. So let's go into here. I love these things. We'll just make a whole bunch of them. I'm not sure how many of these go in this mod pack. So we'll throw this guy here. Let's try to here. That one works. So let's try up a little bit higher. So that works. Okay. So that's 106 to 86. So that's 20 blocks. I guess we just missed it. So 20 blocks is gonna be it. Yeah. So this case we don't have flight for some reason. I wanna have this in place. 36, 40, 44, let's go to right here. We missed. It's probably the block below us. Hold on. No. Yeah, there we go. This is the right one. There we go. All right, and then we'll come up to right about, let's do some trimming here. I think right about there is where I want that to be. There we go. Right about here. All right, so this is gonna be your ground floor. So I already 
grabbed crabbed grabbed a bunch of leaves but um really don't have to worry about that so much as we can we can go to the twilight forest and just pretty much vein mine all the leaves we want so uh, let's take these put them here i want to do something like this And then like that. Okay. We beat the entities down there. That's awesome. All right. And then we're upstairs. All right. <clears throat> so we're gonna do a lot of clearing of this. Let's see here, what are we on? Oh, wrong button. Let's go back to fast. All right. I need to get our magnet up here. There we go. So I'm going to do something like... There we go. That's what I'm looking for. There. So that makes it look like it's supposed to belong there. And then we'll build this up to this layer where we were just down here. This is going to get built up to this layer. So then we'll branch this one back up into that. There. There we go. Yeah. I wish I could show you guys the one I did, uh, but it was <laughs> a long time ago, like the Tanya's first debut kind of thing. All right, so that goes away. Basically what we wanna do is keep the, the tree connected to down below. <clears throat> so these little rooms we have, like down in here, we're gonna keep these guys. We'll use them for something. We have a spawner in there. And then we have another, another one over uh, here. Yeah, somewhere over here we have another one. I think it's this one right here. Come on. There it is. Oh, or not. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll definitely come across it. <laughs> uh, doggy's barking. Um, we'll come across it at some point. So that's for sure. So let's get, let's finish clearing this out. Oh, 
I'm afraid to vein mine upward because I kind of want to keep some of it, I guess. Now. getting close to what we're going to need to start with. I'm going to clear this out here. Okay. So I'm planning on running that direction and then having it stick out this side. So you won't be able to see it so much from down there but we'll have a view out this direction as some, of some really messy slime islands, but still. All right. So I don't know if I want to use this wood because we have some really good options for wood in this game. Um, let's see. Let's go look at planks actually. Oh, I really do not like that. This doesn't follow, like I was saying before, about all the other menus. All right. Um, let's see here. That one looks kind of cool. Vertical light blue stained planks from Quark. Mossy Dreamwood from Batania. Great. <laughs> I have a tendency to do that. I'll pick a type of wood that is like super either hard to get or it in what I'm getting ready to uh, utilize. So like using Batania living wood is a poor choice because, well, we're, we have to... Uh, get into Batania to get it. So fuse wood, cyan stained planks, scorched planks. From scorched wood, Erebus. All right, let's go ahead and throw that one up here. I just want to keep that on on the radar. Okay. Um, let's see, willow, we have willow planks, or we have willow saplings. Let's look up saplings, see what we have. Uh, oak, sickling, twilight, that's what we have. Paper, specter, eucalyptus, cypress. I think actually oh, the one I want to use is going to be mahogany. Or mangrove, I think is it. Mahogany is a dark color. Mangrove is a lighter color. I want to think I want to use the mangrove. All right, so let's look up mangrove. Ah, oh, we have to type up here. Yeah, I think that's what we want to use. Does it not have a plank? Oh, it doesn't have planks? Well, that's interesting. 
Okay, so let's go back and look at our saplings again. Uh, what was the other one? I think it was a silver bell. Uses. Oh, can't do that in here. It doesn't have either. All right, let's get some silver bell going because I think that's the 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 color I want to go with. We need to get our bonsais going anyway. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Where are we going? Let's go this way. F bonsai. So we need to craft you first. Okay, or not. Uh, clay. All right, let's take, let's take a full stack. Cause we're gonna craft a bunch of bonsai, so. And go. No more double, why not? That's just rude. All right, so then we throw these guys back in here. Craft these, craft a bunch of them. Now we're gonna craft these, craft a bunch of them. All right. Our goal is to put our bonsais across the back up here, I think. Yeah, it was to do that. These guys here are just uh, chilling, making... We got dark wood and trans wood. Let's see what the trans wood looks like. Does it get a uh, plank? No planks. I don't like that pattern. Definitely like how that looks too. All right, so let's, yeah. And you go back. It's definitely very slow growing, isn't it? All right. Let's get back here. We need a chest. Uh, let's go with just the iron chest for now. Plop. Oh, we also need a piece of dirt. Do we have grassy dirt? We do. We're gonna use a piece of grassy dirt. Okay, and plop, plop. All right. I need a piece of wood, please. Thank you. Please give me planks. I'm pretty sure this one does. It does, all right. So this is what we're gonna use I think for, yeah, that's going to be our, uh, our building blocks. So this guy's on build. We got him crafting up our, the stuff we need. So I think we'll use this guy for the floor and that for the paneling. Yeah. We're gonna use these two together and that as a plank. That sucked. All right, so that just happened. So let's go like this, like this, and like this. All right. All right.
So these are going to get replaced with the uh, transwood around the elevator, like so. So I'll have to go get more, obviously. And so anywhere we're going to have any type of pattern, we're going to use the, uh, the transwood and the uh, silver bell planks to give us a, a different style and pattern going for different things. So if we get, or any more, why do we come up here with just this? I'll take a couple stacks of these. We're gonna throw them in here for now so we can grab them as we need them. Let's throw Astral Sorcery in here as well. Yeah, that should be okay. Come on. I think we affect the growth rate because that last one was growing slower than that. So we might want to move this for the time being closer to the clock. Maybe. I don't know. But I do want to get this party started. Uh, so we can, between this episode and live streams, uh, should have a live stream coming up day after. Because today I work, I got called in, so there won't be a live stream tonight, but uh, there will be some more coming up probably the day after. Alright, so we'll go like this, and then we need these turned into planks. I also wanted to check, do we have stairs and such with the... Okay, we got stairs. And we got half slabs. All right, so those are the two things we're gonna need for sure. I think those two are gonna counterdict each other quite nicely. So inevitably what we're gonna do is our mana wells are gonna spiral up this inside trunk inside of the trunk so all the way around not every step but probably in each corner uh like four blocks apart or something like that we'll pick a a gap and <clears throat> it's gonna go all the way up so we'll have some type of uh flowers growing around here that are going to generate uh, mana and then we're going to shoot them into a mana pool like let's say that back corner and then it's going to shoot up to there, and then up to here, and then up to there, and then up to there. And it goes all the way up, all the way up to the top. And then we'll have a mana pool sitting here. This block won't exist. And then it'll all be funneling into that mana pool. So we'll basically build up a, a backstock of mana. <clears throat> so for all intents and purposes from up here, it never looks like we were out of mana. So... At least that's what I did before. It worked really well, especially once the uh, the mana generation started. It just really took off and <clears throat> it was great. All right, so we're gonna do this. We'll get the spots like this. We'll take this guy out. Bye-bye. And boom. All right, so we have a start. Um, I'm probably going to come up to right about here. I'll take these out and then we'll build up some more uh, leaves so we can't see from down there up to here and any place down below. And yeah, you can kind of see it right there. Well, so we'll build one of these fake branches up right here. I'll we'll build a fake branch because those are real. Um, we'll build a fake branch out and cover up the bottom part as well. 
So the whole point is that from down below, you can't see up into here and see what's going on. And then we'll just build this out going this way. Nice little, it'll probably come out to about, about here. And then we'll do some more off into that direction. Stairs leading down into that little room. Stuff like that. So thanks for watching everybody. Thanks for you guys for your comments. I do appreciate it. Uh, something we're going to be looking into in the next couple episodes. I didn't have enough time to prepare today to do the going to the eccentric matrix Lordic ne Nexus area. But uh, we'll be doing that here shortly. Thanks again for watching everybody. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe and all the YouTube type things. And uh, yeah, so this is Havoc. Have fun. Hey, keep gaming.